All right. Is a button it's, push? It is. I can see it's, it's time. Red. Red. Stickles. Hmm. <laughs> is it obstacles or is it testicles? I can never figure that out. Popsicles. Popsicles. Pop pop, right? It's pop. That's what I thought. Okay. Hey, hey Jeff. Buddy, it's <laughs> it's full spectrum cycling show number two hundred and eighty. Hey, hey. Two hundred and eightieth one of these we're doing. Wow. That is a that's a wow right there. Wow. Uh so welcome. We got Tony. We got uh-huh. JK. Sad. We we've got all you guys. How's it going? Hi. Hello. Uh, someday we may, we can live stream this. You got like a, a, a chicken feather in your glasses or something. Or your, oh, no, oh no, maybe that's just your hair. Never mind. It's kind of it was kind of it looked like it was. It did. It yeah, did. yeah. Like, it a, like it was stuck in your hinge on your. It's glasses. Just my old man hair. No, now it's under there, so you don't have to worry the about it. You won't, you won't offend any of our listener. So. Right on. Right Sorry on. About my hair. I have oh, hair. Big news. Yeah. In, big news in Milwaukee. The Daily Bird is back. It was yeah, closed. And two, it was back. two days? Closed for two days? Yeah. What, what's they, up with that? Well, I assume they had to work what's out some real estate that? deal to what's continue to be that? there. Or, yeah, or someone funded them some, floated them alone or something. I don't know. I, well, I've, however it worked. It's, it's working. It's too bright for me. Although I did high five Matt Barron, who was outside of it today and ran out into the middle of center so that I could on my bike come and high five him on the way past. Ah. So. Matt Barron probably never listens you, to this. You, sir, are a shit. high-fiving motherfucker. No, I do like being uh, a high-fiving motherfucker. I have dinged the bell. That would be, be, a, that be, would be a local H song, like just a, so people actually, don't know I'm just being explicitly I did, rude. It may have yes. just been a slide-by-five. I don't know what that's called, but anyway. But I've done, I'm, since I have my new bell, I utilize it Awesome. right by the Barron estate. Nice. I'm just like, As ah, we should. yes, ding. Yep, ding. Must, must Bing must, past the, must ding past the Baron house. Ding goes the bell. Ding goes the bell. Fries are done. Ding. Whatever. Uh, it's not quite. It's not even. It's not even things so, taking yet. You can't do the Carol of the Bells. One yet. of my neighbor's right. houses okay. is full Christmas rug- regalia right now. That's not even thanks. I know. Me, man. I know. Thanks taking, man. Yeah. Thanks for nothing, dude. <laughs> uh, as good thanks as the daily blankets. bird thing is for most dude. people, those that aren't totally offended by the very yellow color. Yeah, it's bright. As good as that is. This is the shit side of that deal, that they're closing down the line in Kugel's breweries. Yeah, you know. Do you think it's going to go the same way? Like, oh, two weeks from now, we'll hear that they're going to keep the Chippewa Falls location well, open. a lot of beef right now. Yeah. There's a lot of people complaining. I know. You know, that is Chippewa Falls. Right. Well, it's corporations. Well, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. fair, I have not had a line in Kugel's in I, probably five years, since they stopped shit. sponsoring the it's stage at Summerfest. way longer than five years. Uh, no, they're still sponsoring the stage at Summer. That's Yeah, Summerfest is like the only time I'll have a damn line in Kugel. Well, okay, so not, they're not the title sponsor. U.S. Cellular is the title sponsor. Right. right. They might be the beer They're not sponsor. a Liney Lodge anymore. Yeah, see? Say, Liney Lodge. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. I've been woefully slacking on getting my miles up for my hundred mile challenge for November. But well, did, you've got I, you've got the shank of the month. Yes. Oh no, I, it'll be fine. I just I put a solid one point one eight in yesterday, so I feel well, good. I feel the good parking lot. Oh, I was testing out oh. the uh, the black electric fat bike that is now down the road. Nice. And uh, my buddy that bought it is 68, and his friend, who's they're kind of going to share it, is 74. 74-year-old guy takes it out easily, comes back. He's all like, <laughs> like a big grin. And, and I'm like, Bob, awesome. Bob, you want to ride? He's like, oh, it's too cold out. I'm like, okay, so this is going to sit in his living room all, right. all winter <laughs> long, I'm pretty sure. So, I, uh, By the speaking of mileage, I've got over 650 miles on the long tail since we built it. Very nice. In August. I saw... I saw your, uh, what do they call it, sidecar plan, potentially. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. Yeah. those I, are There are some smart people out there that look at that and say, hey, you can use a one-inch quilled stem. Oh, is that what attaches it? Yeah, that's okay. what it's saying. And then you loosen it and adjust it up. 
So you can tilt it up, and it's all – the only thing you need to do is have a little bit of welding, which I've already messaged Dave Lunds about. Yeah, DaveLunds.com can do that for you. So, yeah, well, all the students. That does sound like a uh, a good winter project. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is, have you seen it actually in action riding? Well, they made, Exercycle made one for it. Okay, but did it- They you, called it the sidecar. Did it use no. stems to do the No, it the did hinge? not. It, oh. the, no, that's that's genius, because that's way thicker than whatever Exercycle used. Right on. I mean, it's well, a stem. I, yeah, we, a couple of little fab projects over the winter would be fun. We're getting Carolyn's, ex, not extra, big dummy coming in. CYC. Yeah, finally on Friday, and- been That'd work, be cool. Been working on Adrian's GT Zest car. Who can Adrian? It's like, how far do you go to make it period specific? I'm like, he doesn't. doesn't how much money well, first, you want to put towards first it. First of all, handlebar and stemmy already said, fuck that. I want something stiffer. So he's it, something newer, you know? Okay. And bigger diameter or whatever. And so that already says, meh. I, I'm going to digress just a little bit because no, we went into the whole how far do you want to go to make it original, and I watched a video on a uh, someone threw a Tesla motor into a 911 but made it really, really incredibly authentic, and it goes to the how far will you go with the money. It's an $800,000 conversion. Yeah, I think- That's I, just the most I'm, crazy right. thing I- you know. I'm pretty sure- Given eight hundred thousand dollars, I could make that happen too. Probably. You know how much Singer Porsches are now? You yeah, can't, you right? can't touch one for under a million. That's a good point. And it's just like how you almost could start your own car company like uh, DeLorean did and build your own car for that kind of money and two hundred you know two hundred pounds of cocaine. <laughs> always remember, it's not how far you go; it's how go you far. It's how go you far. That's well, we party I, now, we party this. Since I just opened this. Oh, we got Ring up a here. Ringy, dingy, dingy. Right, we might, uh, we might have a, I should have thought about this, but we might have a, uh, we will have a guest calling in. Wait, wait, wait. It's all day, IPA. They're, call, they're calling in all day. The, the wedding. <laughs> the wedding <laughs> The wedding continues. keeps giving. The wedding leftovers. Here's what I like to say about all day IPA. It's flavorful and easy drinking. It is. It says, it says it right on the oh, can. there so. you go. <laughs> I'm going with that. Speaking of wives, I saw your wife's bike locked outside of, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Uptowner yesterday. As I was Nark. Nark. Oh, did I bust you? Did Nark. I bust her? Nark. Uh, do you need me to do this whenever I see your bike? Hey, look, there it is. Because <laughs> chances are you what, could what be you, on it, too. What are you, some kind of cop or something? I think, God, no. No. <laughs> Although I got fingerprinted so I can no, support no. the UWM police. No, she had the day off, so she got there early. I got off well, they open then, at they open at noon now. So well, yeah, but she was. It used to be eleven. That, used that. to be eleven. I well, believe. on Mondays. Well, it was Monday, and uh, it was uh, Mike Fredrickson's birthday. Oh, who normally has the Monday uh, nooner shift? Copy ah. that. And um, he of Mosley's and Bristlehead and artist extraordinaire, awesome guy, awesome guy. Yeah, he does a good job. So um, it was fun to, and he was still sitting around the bar when I got there. At four in the PM? Yeah, when it was dark. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, we have. Well, I was like, I was chasing the sunset. There's I'm just like, I wanted to be at least a little bit like bright ish, day ish when I leave. I don't need dark and dark. There's approximately, uh, what would it be, 11 weeks left mm. before we're going to be at the same. Or it's like 10 weeks till we're at the same darkness today. So it keeps yeah. getting darker for five, five weeks, weeks or whatever. Five weeks and it starts increasing. Yeah. Well, yeah, December yeah, so it's only, it's only I like, think, is solstice. Right, yeah. Seasonal but effect of disorder. Not, but that's, Engage. that's not when daylight savings time starts fucking with you. Oh, yeah. Who cares? That's already shit. started, right. obviously. Well, no, it just accelerates it. Would you, wouldn't you rather go to work in the dark and come off with light than vice, Personally, vice yes, person? absolutely. Yeah. I, well, Wendy's the opposite. Well, she, we're she pretty doesn't... soon to where we're going to be going to work in the dark and coming back in the dark. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's happen... only two weeks, three weeks That'll away. happen for a little bit. So, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We could be living in Florida. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> thought you'd like that. <laughs> not, America's not, way, not, not, not America. Not going to happen. Wouldn't be Wouldn't prudent. Be prudent. <laughs> not going down there. No, ever yeah. since. Yeah. Speaking of which, you see how he's imitating Elon Musk now, and he's all pissed off about it. <laughs> Who's that? Dan George, Carvey. George Bush. 
David Garvey is <laughs> No, it's... George Bush does Elon Musk. Yeah. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> would be funny. All right, let's... Uh, let's... Sissy, you mean Sissy SpaceX? You know, I, pro- I should just leave... <laughs> I should leave this one too, because Dave's probably coming down for rampage. So let's let's couch the rampage till Dave calls. Uh, there is a hit. Here's how this gets in front of that other story that you were all worried about. One being on top of the other, the winter bike party. It's and, coming up, isn't it? At Amorphic. It's like December fourth or something. December fourth, five thirty. That's a Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. A Wednesday, Wednesday. evening, and if it's. Like what they've had over at our other one block away brewery, or yeah. down at or down Great a transfer Lakes. pizzeria. Yeah, it's been all over Great yeah. Lakes Distillery. Been down there. There yeah. will be some people talking about stuff they do to get through that. the winter on a bike. It's yeah, clothing you wear, yeah. strategies for this. Uh, there might even be an audio visual show, and there might that, be a raffle. That, that's the raffle I won the two hundred dollar tattoo. I think you know what I got from one of those raffles. I got a uh, Bond Traeger. It's a it's a pump that you pump up, and then it has a quick release valve. So it's supposed to fucking genius. It's supposed to seat your oh your tubeless tires. And I didn't find that it was all that effective at that. Sometimes anyway, at least not. Be cool for pumping up a tube quick though. Well, you're pumping anyway, and then you just do it, and it would go. Excuse me, what were you just doing there? That's right, boys. Pumping. Anyway. It's all about the hangover. Yeah, look at that. Is it? I saw your costume recently. Ah, uh, yes. I saw what that was. Is this the P.F. Changs? Uh, here's something we could talk about. We could talk about the stuff that's right there. That's uh, Those are premiums. Tony, you could hold them up maybe a little bit. Those are premiums for your local WMSC 91.7 station. I love that goblet. If you donate, and I would like to donate more to get another goblet because I do like that goblet. I already have a couple of those mugs, and it rounds out the cabinet nicely. Plus, I, they really drink well. I know you guys got a bunch of new mugs to mess with now. You got your uh, got your podcast MKE mug. I used mug. my podcast MKE mug it, this it, week. It works pretty well. It's fine. It's 15 ounces. Yeah, it too. allows me to drink a lot of coffee. It's and perfect for soup. I had a cup of soup. Oh, in nice. Um, so, yeah. So, this tall. is a new one this year. Those are the... Uh, Look, I the, can wear them up to my elbows. Those are the uh, mittens made out of some kind of polar fleece material. Give me, you know, I'll get my tent sealer and then, then you're all oh, clean. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, well, some occasional mic has some idea. Look, it still allows me, it has so much dexterity, I can still hold my beer. My fingers swim inside Amazing. Here. And of course, the guitar smasher pin, which is, you know, I didn't. I believe when you review the footage, you will see that I already displayed so what the I guitar think, smasher pin. I'm not positive, I'm pretty sure. That this amount of stuff is what you get for doing twenty dollars a month. Yeah, because I still have two hundred forty dollars left to do more premiums with, and I'm like, I oh, don't is really. There, you really? I there is. I am going to go for another goblet. I think though. it's ten, twenty, forty. I We're, think that's how it. Yeah. Forty. However, it worked. I and, think, and I will always put stuff in my pocket. I mean, that's right, Ryan. I'm going to take stuff. I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just not. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, the mug is cute, but I got so many mugs. Uh, Molly would love the wine glass. Well, was, a wine glass. That's why I would get two of those, because Sydney yeah. and Wendy, blah, blah, blah. Well, they've got a good... Oh, now I spoiled it, because you'll probably listen to this before before uh, Christmas, because those, those, those would have made a great Christmas They would, totally would have. So, uh, so would those mittens, though, for certain people with very, very large hands. Like red hot chili peppers? They're really big hands. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, the TV just turned off. Pictures I guess we didn't pay painted. enough attention to that. Oh, no, it did a while ago. All right. So, so I, I I, did title this one. <laughs> Is it April Fool's Day already? Because there was, a, there was a one-day thing. I don't think I've seen it more recently than that, where they're talking about this Trek steel full suspension bike possibility, not necessarily full-on production but it came out of their it, development shop and it looks pretty freaking beautiful it looks fucking cool i i i don't know it looks good i don't know i'm not pipe, sure pipe dream. is steel dead i, I mean, think there's what? a there's a market for it i totally is a market for that it's bigger over in europe than here probably in huge england in Japan. it's big in england 
Oh, speaking of Japan, did you see the next couple down the list there? That uh, big in Japan. Boom, boom, boom. The bottom Crum- one, Crumworks. Crumworks. Crum- yeah, they're Chunk. they're a Japanese fillet braising house that uses your tangy prestige material to make. Click on the link because oh. you got to see how cool it looks. It's it's it's. What is one hundred and twenty six thousand five hundred yen? Well, I think the frame it's and like fork are around. No, 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 they're around. The for, frame and fork is like twenty one hundred. It's not inexpensive. But it is. It's really gorgeous. Well, let's see what a Dave Wages made bike would cost that he did that kind of work on. Oh, wow. You got to find the one with the seat tube. It's got dual top tubes. It's, it's very cool. Crum, oh, crum works. It's, this one's God. called the, it's called the chunk. It's that a, is it's, it's really and beautiful. 30, 33,000 yen more, you get it powder coated. So that's like two hundred fifty bucks. I uh, yeah. I don't well, know if you say it's it right. Got a Teasdale I, fork with you can extra say it's braising. Twelve dollars more. Hmm? I'd fucking buy it. It has the same look of a Teasdale fork with triple brazings for the you know new fancy triple. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to have your stuff. Got to have your attachment yeah. points. Oh god, sorry, that's I got pretty. I got distracted by the. Oh, and it's all gold braised too. Currency conversion. <laughs> it's all gold braised. This is oh god. I, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to uh, do a little texty thing. Here. Oh, that's, I don't like it painted. I'd rather. No, I think the raw. I'd rather raw it. Go. Raw dogging. Ooh. How much is that? Like 2200 yeah, bucks? Yeah, something like that. Yen conversion. You can hardly, oh. you can't. Bike, you know, stuff isn't cheap anymore. I saw a fancy new fat bike. 750Bs or, oh, sorry. Yeah. I, that's a good question. I didn't look at the tire size yet on it. Uh, hey, I got a button to push over here. Oh, God. This is cool. Dave's got to look at this, too. All right. I got a button to push. Oh. All right. Yeah. Which button did, yeah. you, did you hit? I pushed there? the button and went. Ugh. The internal well, one? <laughs> welcome to the radio program. Caller, who do we have on the line? That's Sealy Dave. I've been, I've been in the green room for quite a long time. Oh, oh have you? Greg. I, well, it just popped up on the screen. It's really weird. Yeah. I know. So you've been in there for a long time? No, I've been. Huh. Yes. That's weird. Yeah, since pre-Santa Rampage discussion. Oh, okay. Whoa. Well, sorry about that. It didn't uh, it, it didn't automatically update, and somehow now I saw it on there. I'm like, you know, that's why, <laughs> that's why I texted you. I'm like, where the fuck is Dave? It's nine minutes later. <laughs> right. I... I no worries. I was trying to reply to your text before you sent one to me because I heard you say that. Oh. <laughs> hey. you were texting me, but I couldn't quite get it out fast enough. So. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. that's your technology, there, folks. Hey, technology. Have Have you yeah. uh, speaking of technology, oh, Dave? Have you watched any of the recent YouTube episodes with the camera thing going on? Of, I haven't uh, yet. No. Do um, Do me a solid and watch yeah, a couple I, of the most recent episodes. Okay. And we got I a th- we got a three camera thing with a switcher and stuff. And I'm just kind of trying it out and also trying to do that while I do the show, which is not that easy to do. But it's fun to watch, though. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I think it. Yeah. And it's just this I is had kind of. I kind of been on a a media blackout for a while there. Um, I understand. But, uh, Pre-election and post-election. So, uh, that does that um, makes perfect I'm kinda, sense. <laughs> yeah, not like the usual kind as much. Just I don't know. I guess maybe like the usual kind. But so, yeah, I'll I'll definitely check that out. Um, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'm back on on the interwebs, so I'll take a look and see what. Uh, I've also been quite busy um, in my never-ending battle with flying squirrels so oh um, okay so being retired doesn't doing mean that too being but, retired um, doesn't mean your work is done yeah no it does not did yeah, you did doesn't. you say flying um, are they flying squirrels yeah. not monkeys yeah that's the yeah yeah flying squirrels in the huh. rental that matt hewitt and liz franchek are in until this weekend oh know that's matt okay and, gotcha and, and liz, and liz. Yeah, nice yeah I did yeah, talk to somebody yeah. about but how great your place is. they found a place and are moving out. In cool. yeah, they the, found it, a place and are moving out. Uh, in Hayward or around Hayward? or so, In Cable. In Cable. Oh, yeah, okay. Right on. A up so by Telemark, so there's by, a there's a yeah, few more so, things um, available up there these days than there were, you know, five, four or five years, four years ago. 
Uh, it's still Slim Pickens. They actually found their place off market. That Matt happened to be because he was running the Trek store. Um, he was in kind of an ideal place to meet people and and say, "Hey, we're looking for a place." Oh, oh, oh yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right on. Before right. it was off market. Sure. So he was at they the, bought it off market. He um, was at the truck store at uh, Telemark. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, he's he quit though. He while there, he got a job offer for uh, um, Ashland County or Bayfield County to uh, to go back to doing you know what he was doing last in Milwaukee when he was working for Milwaukee County, which you know cutting down trees and plowing roads and stuff like that. So yeah, infrastructure. So he left stuff. the truck store right as the truck store was closing, and uh, he's working for Bayfield County now. But and they found a place to move to, so they closed this weekend. So cool. Um, cool. Yeah, so that's good news for them anyway. So, and it means our rental will be back open. Um, and we're not going to put it on Airbnb. Um, we're just going to have it open for friends, so friends and family. That sounds so. like a good plan. It's an awesome place. And I, well, certainly yeah. several, I mean, not, several of my friends yeah. have stayed there or people you know too, but they're all like, yeah, let's get cast. Because when we were up right, there, yeah. when we were up there for uh, Jerry's yeah. thing, the place we stayed in, wasn't it was a pretty nice place. I don't know if you know which which property it is, but it was expensive. It was like three fifty a night yeah. or something. But we did slam eight people in there, so I guess yeah, it was all right. Guys, it was big, so it yeah, was pretty true. cheap. It, it worked out all right for sure. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So what's what's well, new with Dave Schlebowski? Silly Dave. Well, Silly Dave. So, sorry, Silly um, Dave. Sven. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, Greg. Um, Sven. Um, so uh, <laughs> Greg, Tony's yeah. Tony's other name is Dick. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Mrs. Garrett. This shit. actually Richard because he's a um, big dick. <laughs> winning. winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right yeah. then. Sorry about that. We're back now. <laughs> no worries. So one of the other things that I took a break from other than just like viewing uh, you know stuff online and things like that was uh, you probably have noticed i haven't done any of my own podcasting for quite some time part of it has been the whole squirrel eviction abatement program that okay. i've been working on full <laughs> Sounds... time um but <laughs> that's part of it but that's part of the reason but um but the other part of it is like the longer that whole election cycle went the more I just kind of became, uh, I don't know, um, less enamored with my fellow American. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a, you're not alone a, there, it sir. Was a very you are not alone. Agent. I know, I know, I know. Um, and That's... and it just sort of like I I just kept feeling more and more like, eh, I don't know, you know. I mean, I spent my whole adult career as either, you know, a journalist slash documentary photographer, you know, working for Sandinistas, going to Haiti, you know, all kinds of the garbage dump in Guatemala City, you know, and then, you know, uh, drug houses in Milwaukee, all kinds of things that try to like, you I'm know, surprised you never saw on, me at which one of, at one of those places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, thank God we got those uh, those photos candid photos. Friends. Yeah, right. Thanks, thanks, Dave. Yeah, these the drug places I was at were not the kind that you probably maybe. <laughs> the these were not the kind that I frequent. Yeah. Were, it was, it's these, gotten dark fast. A lifestyle choice. Yeah, yeah, it, true that. Yeah, this is, right. There is there is not there is not a so, thing there's not a thing called a smoky pipe. And then a bike advocate, right? Sure, right. And then I ended my career as a bike guy, right? So my whole career has kind of been like a salmon swimming upstream, mm. trying to like do good things, maybe leave the world a little bit better place, you know, stuff like that. And between the whole pandemic, the initial Trump, you know, election where he got elected the first time, and then this most recent one, I've kind of lost all faith in in you know at least american humanity totally <laughs> and and i'm trying to come to grips with i'm trying to come to grips with how to bring that back to like at least you know hey we all gotta i'm not gonna kill myself you no, know I, mean, I want to no. still enjoy the rest of my life <laughs> what what are we gonna do so and then up here 
perhaps more so than down by you. Oh, it's got to be horrible. You guys. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, it's 50, 50 up here. It just splits 52% to 48 or the other way. Sometimes, you know, Bayfield County, I think went out blue by 11%. Yeah. Um, so our County it, was red. Um, but, but either way, I run into a lot more people that I know vote differently than I do. And many of them are active cyclists in the community. And many of them are very nice people, right? I mean, yeah, for sure. I've never had a, pre- other than they may have, maybe have a Trump hat sitting on the dashboard of their pickup truck. But other than that, I don't get into arguments with them. They, they don't bring up truck. politics. I get along with them. They'll help me out if I need help, uh, you know, whatever, you know, um, we joke around. Uh, I got friends of mine on my old bike team from Milwaukee that um, are, you know, law enforcement officers. And I'm fair, I didn't ask, but I'm fairly sure they voted Trump again. Longtime friends of mine. Right. Yeah. Um, it just makes and, you go, Dave. It makes you go. This election hmm. feels a little bit. That, that's right. what it this does. It just makes me go more hmm. different than before. I, this one feels more like people were informed I, what they could have been voting for <laughs> and voted that way anyways. I, That's I, what I'm pisses sure. me I'm off. I'm just going to settle right. it real quickly with the, you know, the basic sentence of they're eating the dogs. And that's our new one. Uh, and yet right. somehow people still <laughs> voted for this started, dumbass. All that sort of nonsense. All right. Oh, I know. We're going to look. So, so I'm getting mad. How so we, not, we guessed so out. how do we? My, the DHS is Christy No. My question is. She's cute, though. She shoots the dog. And I don't want to relive all that. We, yeah. we there's, no. there's a gazillion yeah. examples of that. Yeah. Right? There's Sorry. a gazillion examples. No, that and, was a dovetail. And, and this, and and this show does like, not endorse or avow <laughs> any of these positions. <laughs> Yes, and, I, okay. And, right, but so I'm I'm struggling with how do I how do I still view these folks that like I said I've never had a reason to be angry with or well, they've never been jerks you're, or anything. you're going to you know, in the next you, four years. How do you balance that? Uh, don't take. Well, I don't like know. If, if they, we don't, we don't, if they start don't gloating, yeah, disconnect. Yeah. If, yeah. I think, if I they think start won't. gloating, but disconnect. I'm, I'm still but just let it wait. Just wait, and they'll, as, they'll figure out they did wrong. But as a, <laughs> they did stupid. I don't know. I don't know that they will. And, and right. I guess my, my, what I'm struggling with more is just like, I feel pretty strongly about this. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't, I don't know how to balance the fact that somebody, what does it mean if someone is pleasant and kind to me, but they voted a way that seems cruel and, you know, mean and othering to people who find themselves you know, disin- more disenfranchised than I am. I'm Not privileged quite. to be a, you know, yeah. 60, 62 we year were old just talk- guy. We were yeah. just talking about this too. Ex- degree be- and all that. Before we started this all podcast, that sort of that's so somebody ex- being nice to me, yeah. you know, yeah. somebody being nice to me, that's one thing, but, but othering, you know, I would just so, uh, and, smile and of course, uh, keep it know, at 60 to 90 seconds. All engagement, 60 to 90 seconds. That's how I do it with a lot of people that I really can't right. handle. It's like I keep everything to 60 to 90 seconds. Once I mean, it gets to two you minutes, I, you don't that's when be crazy a, shit You don't want to be a 10-second yeah. dick. It's like, it's like oh, no, no. I, fuck no, you. I'll I'm absorb right. whatever you're saying, right, right. and we'll volley for like about 30, 40, 60 seconds. Okay, uh, now I have to go to the bathroom or have a smoke or <laughs> something or this but or I, that. I don't even think uh, any of these folks, I don't even think any of these folks are ever going to bring up. No, politics. I just do it for they, my own they, mental well being. Well, that makes sense. That's a good way not to get into arguments oh, all the mm-hmm. time, for sure. Yeah, just keep that 90-seconder. Right, but, but Keeps all the hatred I'm, inside, too. Because I, I, I tend to be kind of like, you know, very 
I care if I care a lot about something, it's hard for me to mentally separate. Sure. Well, yeah, he's a nice guy. You're Polish. He just is also supports a bigot and a racist and Understood. A, what, yeah. <laughs> you know, I but Com- he's a nice guy. Com- you know, you know, compartmentalize. Yeah, compartmentalizing personality I, traits yes. versus voting record. Yeah, I, I don't know. I he, just he's a nice guy that's highly it's just misguided. Been my question lately. All right, let's get off this topic. And yeah. except I think I don't know. We're so, going to heal so, the nation here. Yeah. So did well. So part just, of it is why. <laughs> should I, part of it is why start. Why start. You know why why start up a podcast again. You know why mm-hmm. encourage people? No, to because do you can have things. because you can have conversations like this on it, story. Dave. That's exactly why you do it because you can, yeah. and you don't even have to stick with a specific you know subject. You could just. Dave's got a lot of stuff in his head. I think you doing a thing where you just kind of I do. get some views <laughs> out there. I, it's it's Dave I, Dave's fucking awesome podcast. I could I warn know. people ahead of time. There yeah, could, there could be a trigger warning. Yeah, the, the first <laughs> of the show is. I'm going to talk about bike packing at at minute 13. So just skip ahead if you don't want to hear any of this. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's how you can kind of lure them in. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. So yeah, yeah I know, maybe uh, that's a good idea. Maybe that's a way to do it. Well, it's, you've got a platform, so yeah, you might as well you might it. as well use it for your own, you know, well, yeah. non Machiavellian ways. About since the rentals. Since but the I rentals do. Are going to be yeah. empty of moving my podcast studio up there. So then I can do stuff. It's completely silent. I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, the dogs or Liz and, you know, <laughs> and in the same house. You worry and about that a lot? I can run my podcast up there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, oh, you know, Liz and the dogs are wandering yeah. around and they make noise. And, you know, I mean, no, you yeah, we don't have any dogs at this studio. Record. I'll tell you that much. So okay, I know you. I know you don't. Well, but you're so yeah. you're you're. I, that is an ideal situation around that you know up on upstairs in that uh, rental, right? Yeah. Uh, but you could also there's got to be people up there that want to do content. They could just pop over for a four hour session and camera, 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 yeah, talkie, talkie, talkie. Um, well, I, yeah. I had been thinking about going back to my idea of like you know sort of dividing the show up into three. Where like it starts with you know my little I don't know if you ever listen to like Mark Marin but he always starts with his personal feelings about whatever's going on in his life or the world and then he jumps into his here's what I've been doing do. professionally here's where my next shows are going to be and then he goes into an interview with somebody and so I was thinking well I could kind of use the Mark Marin format where I talk about whatever I've been thinking about personally that's on my mind and then it go into a bike packing thing and then. And then interview some local, you know, bike person, Jeff right. Bradley from the Sub 11 team or yeah. Trudy from the pie shop or something like that, you know. So here's an idea because I like your three phase idea. What if I do too? Yes. Somehow you could integrate a common theme like butterflies through all three aspects. Well, that's hmm. just fucking yeah. weird. Have some sort of. Well, I was just. I, Not I, butterflies. I'll, I'll tell you this. You're just saying, have, no, no. Have a thread that ties everything. I heard everything bakery, together. so maybe he bread. He went with butterflies. You're he's you, doing bacon. You're, yeah, <laughs> no, you're focused on Trudy the pie lady. I am because uh, why wouldn't you be? She makes pies. Who doesn't like pies? Well, Trudy. I'm right, going the three she, prong she attack I talked about. Email. Yeah, yeah. No, I I had. Wait, I want to hear about Trudy. Did you guys be quiet? The pro peloton. So. Yes. All right, Trudy. Yeah, Trudy tell us about Trudy. Also, the first female. Trudy was also Trudy Reb Simon was also the first female pro swan year in the pro peloton in Europe. Nice. My back hurts just thinking about that <laughs> and how awesome that no. would be. All right. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anything else, Dave? We're you what know. What are you drinking? No, but I just thought I'd let you know that the rental is is open, um, but it, they'll be out by the end of the month. They'll be totally out. So Excellent. it'll be, you know. Ready for visits. Um, assuming we get snow and you know, the fat bring the fat bikes out and come on out. Yeah, keep us posted on We're, weather reports Dave. every you know, what when when a sig- significant event happens, let us know so we can kind of talk about it but in real time. Basically, there'll be okay. no snow, we control the weather now. There'll be no snow. <laughs> We're in the biosphere. Okay, I don't know. There's I forgot plenty. about 
Well, I totally forgot about that one. Right? <laughs> there's, pl- there's plenty of sand up in Bayfield County. I wouldn't worry too much about not needing a fat bike. Up there. <sighs> yeah, all right. We can ride sand. <laughs> all right, Dave. Go. All right, Dave. Thank you Thanks for, for calling. Okay, guys. Hey, I'll talk to you oh, probably. Hey, I'll, I'll be down this weekend. I'll this? be down this weekend. Oh, oh cool. But right. I, Give us a shout. I'm, my dad's doing surgery. I'm, I'm staying out kind of with him on the west side. I'm not sure if I'll be around, but if I get some... I'll probably go visit Frankie or something, so maybe I can meet you guys for a beer or something down the River West with when I'm seeing Frankie. Are you, all right. All right. Are you coming down for like San, are you coming down for the rampage? Santa rampage. You know, I always like to. Um, I don't have that date locked down on my calendar. We started but I certainly it. always like to. So. All right, so you got to hear this. Yeah. Okay, so you know you know basically what it's doing, but J.K. found an alternative. Yeah. To doing the Santa Rampage yeah. on a bike, basically, yeah. right? Uh, the old uh, um, Baby Boomers bar is now That's called uh, Lincoln yeah. Satchmos, and they're doing a Santa Rampage bus bus tour. trip bus, bus tour. tour. Can you believe it? <laughs> Around the, like from nine nine a.m. to two, and they're going to hit like six of the stops. But you don't have to ride your bike because it we're, says oh, it's we're lazy. Thing. Because, yeah, you don't yeah. have to. I mean, they're unapologetic lazy. about it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's clever. I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay with, I'm okay with that, but are they like, are they like sort of like stealing in onto the bike feds? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or it's, it's, it's a Santa, official... it's a Santa rampage <laughs> bike ride. See below. But we're lazy. So we got yeah. a bus. Besides, who wants to ride a bike in the snow? You can well, be on a bus and with complimentary beverages. We'll be going to the places where the riders stop. You know, da, 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 da. that's like lame. But yeah, I do yeah. think they I mean, they, give, lazy, uh, they give uh, some money to the bike fed out of this deal. Do I would they? Think so well, I mean, if they well, don't, we'll take Todd well, and they, smash they, his head like, against the sidewalk. They're across the like street. That. They're across the street from bike fed. I'm yeah, sure, sure Jake and Wheel and everybody is in Sapatico. They better have. Let's hope. All right, Dave. Thanks for calling. But, yeah, I thought I it was know. clever. It was. Hope like, was the I last. Was that was one George. of the last but, clever things I've I've okay, seen bye, about that. Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye, bye. Dave. Bye. Going away now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See. Ya. All right, Dave Slabowski, Everybody, I don't know what happened with the technology. It didn't. Uh, I didn't. I put. I as soon as I saw it, I pushed it, yeah. and I thought that's because I texted him, but he, he was, was hanging with us for a while later. Oh my! Yeah, it's nine minutes. It's nine almost nine minutes. It was late. Like, I got to figure out a way to tap that into the show so we can have camera on guest remotely. Anyway, thank you for being here. I guess we'll do this again next week. Come again. Likely. Bye-bye. Bye.